The first storm to form in 2013 arrived in the Western Pacific on January the 3rd when a tropical depression formed near Palawan Island in the Philippines, crossing over the island as a tropical depression and soon developed into tropical storm Tsunami, peaking with winds of around 50 miles per hour. The storm then turned towards the southeast, weakening and then eventually dissipating not too far from Borneo. A few days later, on January the 7th, a tropical storm formed in the South Indian Ocean to the south of Indonesia and developed into Cyclone Nurel, generally moving along its route towards the uh, southwest and peaked with wind speeds of 130 miles per hour sustained, that's category 4 intensity, and a minimum air pressure of 930 millibars. The storm caused up to 31 fatalities and damages amounting to $74,000. On January the 13th, Cyclone Emang formed in the central Indian Ocean and didn't really move very far over the four days that it lived, reaching a peak wind speed of 40 miles per hour and a central air pressure of 996 millibars. On January the 14th, a tropical depression formed in the South Pacific and passed Fiji to the north, developing eventually into Cyclone Gary. The storm passed to the north of Samoa and eventually peaked as a Category 2 storm with wind speeds of 100 miles per hour and an air pressure of 965 millibars. Effects on land are unknown. On January 21st, a short-lived storm by the name of Oswald formed in the Gulf of Carpentaria and soon made landfall in Australia, peaking with a wind speed of 40 miles per hour and an air pressure of 991 millibars. It contributed to six fatalities and flooding damages of $2.5 billion. Another short-lived storm, this time Cyclone Pater, which formed on January the 22nd and made landfall the next day in Australia as a tropical storm with wind speeds of 40 miles per hour and an air pressure of 991 millibars. No fatalities were reported and minimal damages occurred. On January 26, a tropical cyclone formed in the Indian Ocean and developed into Cyclone Feleng, passing Madagascar at its peak intensity as a Category 4 storm with wind speeds of 130 miles per hour and an air pressure of 950 millibars. It caused nine fatalities and significant damage across Madagascar. A short-lived storm in the South Pacific now, Cyclone Haley, which formed on February the 9th and dissipated two days later out at sea. Peak wind speeds were 50 miles per hour with an air pressure of 990 millibars no ill effects occurred on land. Our ninth storm, Cyclone Gino, formed on February the 11th and peaked out at sea in the Indian Ocean with, as a Category 2 storm with wind speeds of 105 miles per hour and an air pressure of 960 millibars. The storm remained out at sea and didn't affect any land areas. On February 18th, a tropical storm formed in between Madagascar and the African continent and developed into Cyclone Haruna, making landfall on Madagascar in the southern part as a Category 2 storm, nearly Category 3. It peaked as a Category 3 storm shortly before landfall with wind speeds of 115 miles per hour and an air pressure of 965 millibars. There were 24 fatalities here and damage was extensive. On February 19th, a tropical depression formed just south of Mindanao in the Philippines and crossed the southern southwestern extremity of the island, remaining a tropical depression without strengthening with peak wind speeds of 30 miles per hour and an air pressure of 1,002 millibars. The storm caused four fatalities and just over a quarter of a million dollars in damages. Now our 12th storm of the year, Cyclone Rusty, which formed on February 24th north of Australia and made landfall in Western Australia near its peak of 110 mph per hour winds sustained and an air pressure of 945 millibars. The storm didn't cause any fatalities and only caused minimal damage in Australia. The last storm to form in February, Cyclone 18S, formed on February 24th in the South Indian Ocean and didn't really last very long, only three days, peaking as a tropical storm with wind speeds of 45 mph and an air pressure of 995 millibars.